Okay, today we're going to take the two F9s and we're going to put in an LED headlight. And to do that, what we're going to do here, find my pointer. Alright, so as you can see here, I got my breadboard. This is the setup that we're going to use. Okay. We got our red wire, which is the right rail, as you know the red, the right rail being the rail closest to you when, when you're facing it. Here's the black wire, return, 1K resistor. So the way it works is power comes in, goes to the 1K resistor, goes to the LED. I got a second LED here because I'm using it to figure out which colors I like, and then it goes back out. But, if you change directions, which I'm about to do, change directions. Oh, they go off, don't they? We don't want that. We want them to stay on. So, we got one of my favorite little toys here. The bridge rectifier. What the bridge rectifier does is when the power comes in, doesn't matter which direction you're going. The power comes into the rectifier it runs it around a circle and then sends it out again one way only. So that's what's kind of cool about it. So, taking a look at what we're going to use here. So for a headlight, I want to use this yellow light. Now look how bright that white one is. Even from the side, that thing's bright. But let's take a look at the yellow light is very bright from just the front. And the yellow light is a very warm color. And that's kind of the way I, I like F unit headlamps to look very warm. So that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to put one of those warm ones over here. All right, so now I want you to look at what we're doing over here. Okay, so here's our setup. And this is the one that has the the power connector so that the two F9s can be hooked together and share power. So here's the setup that I've got. Now this little PC board that I made. I've got the bridge rectifier on there. The two squiggle sides can go on to my PC board. Then you've got the plus and the minus. That's what this thing changes Whatever comes in, comes out the plus and minus way. All right? I've got a 1K resistor on here. Now, I'm going to put on a couple of wires. And so, first what I need to do is I need to tin my connectors. Why do we tin our connectors? Because you just do. You just do. And also, it makes it so it's not so, you don't want it to be, have to get the thing so hot that you start melting down components. Which is, I don't know if I want that thing sticking up it's that straight that long. You don't have to cut it out. Okay. Twist it a little bit. Why? Because there's plenty of room inside here. I don't really have to worry about it whether or not something's going to be in the way. Okay, so we take this rosin core flux. And yes, I am using a rosin core solder. Oh, but you don't need flux in. Yes, you do. You need it. You need it. That's the way we do it. That's that is how we do it here. So we don't have to wreck stuff. You just need it. Not using it is a bad idea because with it, you don't need so much heat to get a nice flow, just like that. Now I got my two wires. I'm using that Strive Bay Super Flexible Silicone, uh, which has got the silicone casing on it. I love this stuff. Okay, so this 
it's 30, 30 gauge and it is stranded. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to get some flux on it. Right? Because I'm going to tin it. Especially with stranded wire, you want to tin it. Because then you don't have a mess when you try to solder something. If you try to solder this onto a component without tinning it first, the wires will splay out. Or worse, it'll get too hot. So now, go ahead and get a little bit. I want to be able to touch and go. Okay. So I'm going to put the red. Actually, I'm going to put these wires through the bracket. In the F9, there is a little holder where the the light went. In, in the old one, they had a piece of, of uh, one of those clear plastic headlights, and then the light sat behind it. Now, get that right there. Let's pull this red one. Pull the red one first. Let's just go ahead, just like that. Look at that. Magic. That's what it is. It's magic. And then we'll get this black one. Okay, we've got flux ready. Oh no, look at that. It's just like magic. Okay. Now we got that's our setup. Not a super efficient use of the space, but it's clean. Opponents are easy to get to. And that's that's what we want. It's not that bad. Alright, we don't need this much wire on the front here. Same time. We're just gonna waste it sometimes. It's not really necessary to totally cut it off. Okay, so we can go back like that. We're going to go to there. All right, so what do we do now? This wire is pinch and pull. So I need to get the piece. You can't see that. All right. I think you're already... Let's see if we can get you raised up. It's pinch and pull wire. Okay. So maybe you can see this. So I'm going to hold it. All right, now I'm going to hold it. I'm going to pinch and pull. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to hold it. Pinch, pull. Takes me down. Now I'm going to give it a little twist. Where it's twisted up a little bit. Because these I want to be... I want them... I don't want any loose strands. No, no wild hairs on these. All right, now we're going to tin it. Take my tweezers here. Tin one, tin two. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Here is our LED. It's already tinned. So, uh, if I am doing this correct, which we're going to find out right now, <clears throat> that's one reason I have the breadboard until you memorize the pattern. And the pattern is when you look inside the LED, there's two little pieces in there. The big one goes to the black wire. The, the little triangle shaped spear one, tiny one that's coming in goes to the red wire. That's that's your in wires. It's kind of your in and out on this. And as you know, we always use the 1K resistor. I do not go in for that stuff. A diode, you don't need a resistor with a diode. Yes, you do. You just do.
Unless you want to be back in here replacing it when it pops. You use the 1K resistor. It ain't that hard. Okay, now, did it work? Let's find out. Let's put it on the track. Oh! I just saw a spark. We got power on? We do have power on. We got light both ways. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let's get you zoomed in here. Okay, watch for the light. Oop, let's go that way. You can't see it that good because it's from the side. But it just totally lit. And it works in both directions. Okay, we've got a headlight in one. Now we'll move on and do the tricky one, which needs two of these. We have to figure out a way. We gotta put two in that one. Then we can fix those lights. They're a little broken up. But that is the basic of putting an LED in our F9.